Welcome to the Unicorn Showroom in Nottingham and welcome to my team Unicorn Chat with uh, current world number 19, Jamie Caven. And we're going to have a look at Jamie's current dart setup. And here's his current set from the catalogue. Jamie's contender 90% tungsten darts, uh, 23 gram barrel. And if Jamie brings those across, we can talk about them in detail. Yeah, certainly. Uh, you've been using these then, Jamie, for the well, best part of six to nine months now, the scallop barrel. Yeah, uh, you I get, think so. You're getting on well with them. Yeah, I love them. Um, we developed these on the back of my first edition of Dart. Um, I tried a set of Devon Petersons with a scallop in the back. I think it had a 140 and a 180, and that's when I got in touch with you, Matt, and said, um, can we have a scallop put in and see how we go? And I've never looked back since. So, you know, it basically it sits where my thumb and finger sit where the scallop is and it, uh, you know, they feel comfortable. I know where I'm holding the dot every single time I pick it up. So You've got quite an aggressive um, grooves on the, the scallop yeah. part of the barrel. Does that give you confidence when you're about to release the dart as well? It gives you more control, certainly. Um, and obviously with the grooves in the point as well. I know I'm holding it in exactly the same, pl same place every time. 50.8 millimetres is the length of the barrel and diameter 6.78 a bit of technical information on the barrel. Your points, um, um, protrusion out of the barrel is 28 millimetres. You like groove points mm. as well, Jamie. Any mm. particular reason for that? Well, when I hold my dot, my finger and thumb at the top sit in the, in the scallop, and the second one rests underneath, and my third finger actually pushes against one of the grooves in the point. Whereas a plain point, I think, my finger would slip down completely, so it just gives me that bit of extra control and um, a bit more accuracy, I think. And your points, XL, aluminium, black stems, you sort of tend to favour a shorter point over a longer point, uh, yeah. a longer stem rather. Yeah, um, I mean, in the, when they come in the packaging, they come with the, uh, the gripper shaft, uh, the medium length, the, the bigger length, but I prefer the short one, so um, that's just preferable choice. Any flights as well, pear-shaped flights, you can yep. see, use these for a number of years. Mm -hmm. um, you sort of tried a couple of others, but you always seem to, to yeah. go back to the pairs. Yeah, I seem to get my best results with the pairs. So um, I think that, you know, it's, it's always sometimes about, you know, you better the devil you know sometimes. Um, although I do like to change and, and try different things, but, uh, but these are the ones that I'm more comfortable with. And as well, we've got another set of darts we'd, we'd like uh, we'd like to have a little chat about. These mm -hmm. are the your uh, play development barrels, uh, which have a new into the range uh, in August two thousand and fourteen. Yeah, and you've you use them at the World Grand Prix. Yeah, um, didn't actually win on that occasion, but I know you you do like the barrels, and you're potentially going to use them in the World Grand in the uh, Grand Slam of darts as well. I am, yeah. Um, to be honest, between the two darts, there's they, they feel pretty much the same. Um, although the, the beneficial side of these darts is when, when there's a strong light on the dartboard, you don't get any glare like you do a bit off the, the plain tungsten. So I think the mix of colour probably helps, you know, kill the light a little. But um, they do look quite... Every, well. every barrel is sort of unique in its own right as it well with the, with the coating on there, the DNA coating. It is. I mean, I've got, I've got the actual... I've got another set in my pocket that I've been using as well and you can see... There's, there's not one dart the same. This is a completely different set from this, but every single dart is different, um, and that's something quite unique. So um, and it's quite good. 23 gram as well. You always sort of yeah. fixed around that weight of barrel. All the same, exactly the same dimensions as, as the uh, tungsten dart as well. Uh, it's just preferable choice, I guess. But certainly when there's lights, like I say, it, it tends to kill the light on the off the barrel a bit, which which can help me with only being partially sighted, I guess. But um, but yeah, I do like these darts and I'll be using them in the Grand Slam. Excellent. And, and just a little bit of information as well for everybody. Um, Jamie's actually going to be using some prototype stems, Gripper 3 Mirage and short length. Um, we've currently got them in the range in a medium longer length. Um, but Jamie's had a throw with them already. You think you might be, might yeah. be trying them in, on the Pro Tour soon? Yeah, I think so. I think it's too close to using them in the Grand Slam. But... Um I've got a pro tour in a couple of weeks, and I think I'm going to give them a try because I like the way they fly. They, sit, they don't seem too light. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's about trying different things sometimes to try and get that extra percentage on your game, and that's what I'm going to yeah, try. It's a poly, and do polycarbonate it. stem, so um, quite um, robust, and the flights lock in very well, as mm. well, which you picked up on straight away. Yeah, so, be Come in a range of colours too. So. Absolutely. That's great. 
thanks for watching my uh, latest Team Unicorn chat with Jamie Caven.